Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek Mangeshika, an endometriosis specialist and excision surgeon. And today we're talking about ovarian cysts, something that many people have but may not fully understand. Ovarian cysts are fluid-filled sacs that develop in or around the ovaries, and in most cases, they are harmless. However, some cysts can grow large, cause pain, or even indicate an underlying condition like endometriosis, PCOS, or in rare cases, borderline or malignant ovarian tumors. In this video, we'll cover what ovarian cysts are and how they form, different types of ovarian cysts, when a cyst is normal and when it's a cause for concern, how ovarian cysts relate to conditions like endometriosis, when treatment or surgery is needed, including cases where malignancy is suspected. If you've been diagnosed with an ovarian cyst or are experiencing symptoms like pelvic pain, bloating or at irregular periods, this video will help you understand what's happening and when to seek patient care. Ovarian cysts are fluid-filled sacs that develop on the ovaries. They are extremely common and often go away on their own without causing symptoms. Most cysts form as a part of the normal menstrual cycle and resolve naturally. However, some cysts can grow larger, persist, or indicate an underlying condition such as endometriosis, hormonal imbalances, or in rare cases, ovarian tumors. While many ovarian cysts are harmless, some may require medical attention, particularly if they cause pain, rupture, twist, or show features concerning for malignancy. Not all ovarian cysts are the same. Here are the main types. Functional cysts are most common and harmless. These develop as part of the normal ovulation process and typically disappear within a few menstrual cycles. Follicular cysts form when a follicle, which contains an egg, doesn't release the egg as expected. Corpus luteum cysts forms after ovulation if the follicle doesn't dissolve properly. Functional cysts usually don't require treatment unless they grow very large, cause symptoms or persist beyond a few cycles. Endometriomas or chocolate cysts linked to endometriosis. These cysts develop in patients with endometriosis when endometriosis tissue grows on the ovary and forms a blood-filled cyst. It is important to note that an endometrioma never occurs in isolation. It is always accompanied by deeper disease. Signs of an endometrioma include chronic pelvic pain that worsens around the menstrual cycle, painful intercourse, painful bowel movements or urination. Endometriomas do not resolve on their own and often require surgical removal. It is crucial to excise all affected tissue, not just the cyst, to ensure complete disease clearance. Dermoid cysts or mature cystic teratomas. These are benign cysts that contain hair, skin, teeth, bone, and fat or other tissues. They develop from embryonic cells and can grow quite large but are usually non-cancerous. Surgical removal is often recommended, especially if the cyst grows, causes discomfort, or is at risk of torsion. Cyst adenomas. These cysts develop from ovarian tissue and can be filled with fluid or mucus. They can grow large and sometimes require surgical removal if they cause symptoms or if malignancy is suspected. PCOS is a hormonal condition that causes multiple small follicles to appear on the ovaries resembling cysts. Unlike true cysts, these follicles are not abnormal growths but rather immature eggs that fail to develop properly. Malignant and borderline ovarian tumors. Not all ovarian cysts are benign. In some cases, a cyst may be a borderline tumor or low malignant potential. These tumors are not clearly benign or fully malignant, but have the potential to become cancerous if left untreated. Ovarian cancer. Malignant ovarian tumors require immediate medical attention, intervention, often including surgery and further treatments like chemotherapy. Red flags that a cyst may be cancerous include a solid or complex structure on ultrasound, irregular growth patterns or internal septations, elevated CA125 levels. Though it's not definitive, a CA125 can also be high in endometriosis, rapid growth or persistence beyond a few menstrual cycles. If malignancy is suspected, immediate further evaluation with an oncologist is necessary. Many ovarian cysts don't cause symptoms are only found during routine pelvic exams or ultrasounds. However, if a cyst grows large, ruptures, or causes ovarian torsion, symptoms can include pelvic pain, may be sharp, dull, or aching, bloating or pressure in the abdomen, painful periods or irregular cycles, pain during intercourse, frequent urination, or bowel discomfort if the cyst presses on the bladder or the intestines. Sudden severe pain could indicate rupture or torsion of the ovary. If you experience sudden severe pelvic pain, dizziness, nausea or vomiting, seek immediate medical attention as this could indicate a ruptured cyst, ovarian torsion or a malignancy. Most ovarian cysts are small and resolve on their own within a few months. However, treatment may be needed if the cyst is larger than 5 cm and continues growing or if the cyst is causing persistent pain or pressure. There is a suspicion of an endometrioma or a chocolate cyst which does not resolve naturally. The cyst ruptures causes severe pain or internal bleeding. There's an 
ovarian torsion, which is a twisting of the ovary, which requires immediate emergency surgery. The cyst appears complex or is suspicious for malignancy. If you have symptoms of an ovarian cyst, your doctor may recommend a pelvic exam to check for lumps or tenderness, an ultrasound, the primary tool for identifying the size, shape, and type of cyst, blood tests such as CA125 or other tumor markers to check for ovarian cancer markers is used mainly if there's a concern about malignancy, MRI or laparoscopy if the cyst appears complex or if endometriosis is suspected and then to proceed with the excision of the disease at the same time. Ovarian cysts are common and in many cases they don't require intervention. However, persistent, painful or complex cysts should be evaluated. If you have chronic pelvic pain, recurrent cysts or symptoms of endometriosis, it's important to consult a specialist who understands ovarian conditions and can guide you toward the right treatment. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you understand ovarian cysts and when they require treatment. If you ever had an ovarian cyst, share your experience in the comment and your story could help others. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more expert content on pelvic health. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.